Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make it easy for her and for everyone else. Sri Lanka is going through quite a little bit of a uh, tough time because what the government chose to do there is anyone who passes away, they are forcefully burning the bodies, which is against human, against the basic rights of a human being. I'm quite surprised. I really thought they were educated. I really thought that they had much more in their brains than what they're displaying. And I'm very upset about it. I'm really, really, really upset about that because it hurts us to think, imagine if you and I were there, we happened to, to die and someone forces your family to burn you. I mean, come on. I think the evil effect of that will definitely come back to haunt them for a long, long, long time. Those who are responsible for this decree, wait and watch exactly what Allah Almighty does to them because Allah gives you a little bit of time to correct your stupidity. If you don't and you oppress people to that degree, Allah is going to come for you. And I promise you, whether you believe in Allah or not, it is happening. You can see I'm so sad. I'm so hurt. Because when I speak to my brothers and sisters in, in, in Sri Lanka, every single one of them is complaining about how people are being burnt, burnt after death. Come on, come on. Who are the brains behind this? Are you doing it simply because you believe in cremation and the others don't? Are you trying to fix people who are Christian or who belong to other faiths simply because uh, you have the upper hand today? Well, I tell you, you might have the upper hand for a few minutes, but a day will come when you too will die. And trust me, when you die and you're being cremated, who knows, you might feel the full wrath of that flame and subhanAllah, that will be part of what Allah will allow you to taste. I'm so hurt about that. And I really call on those in authority in Sri Lanka to start using their brains and understand what you are doing is totally and absolutely against the basic rights of human beings. Nothing gives you a right over another as a human being. So you cannot forcefully cremate. You cannot forcefully cremate someone. I think it is, it is a means of you trying to torture people of other faiths and people are not stupid. I never speak about this, but this time I will. Do you know why? Because I could have been there and if I died and you burnt me, I think you would never be forgiven. The same would apply to anyone else. Imagine the person is gone and the World Health Organization, everyone else has confirmed to say, that you don't need to cremate that body. So what are you trying to prove? Are you, you want to try and punish a person after they've died. In actual fact, you're punishing yourself and you're a fool. That's who you are. Astaghfirullah. I don't normally say things like these, but trust me, I can't understand. I really, I fail to comprehend the brains. I really fail to comprehend these brains. Do they have any? Maybe your brains are already cremated. La ilaha illallah. Die. And you know why I'm talking this way? Because we've tried through various other means to correct them. They don't want. To. And more and more people are just being burnt. Are we just going to sit back and watch? And, and, and you know what? It's supposed to be a beautiful place, beautiful people, people with brains. Come on, you cannot, you cannot impose that on, on the rest of the world. There are Christians in your country. There are Muslims in your country. There are others in your country. And you want, to, you want to force all of their families to burn those bodies? What type of torture is that? May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala really forgive uh, us all for our weakness, subhanallah rabbil alameen. And I pray that uh, Allah protect us all from this COVID and even, you know, dying during Ramadan is such a blessing. And then watching your family member being forcefully burnt by people who are the, the greatest, the highest level of foolishness across the globe is exactly that how could it be how so my brothers and sisters please today the commemoration of the battle of Badr. let's pray for sri lanka let's pray that sanity prevails in the people who have authority in sri lanka so that they can actually do the right thing by declaring that look when you've died we will allow you to to uh, carry out the rights based on your faith for the people who've died and they belong to a particular faith or a particular belief. So we need to pray for Sri Lanka. My brothers and sisters, I know tens of thousands of people in Sri Lanka and trust me, it's not nice at all. My brothers and sisters, may Allah make it easy. I'm gonna take one more person. You can see.